and you're very welcome to this video. We are going to learn in this video how to create a brand new team in Microsoft Teams. So when you log into Microsoft Teams you look at a page like this and in this case I have lots of teams already you may or may not have this but up in the top right corner you're going to have the option to join or create team so we'll click that. If you're joining a team you can enter with a code there and if you're in a normal classroom environment you may give the students a code, we'll show you where you get the code later, but in this case we're going to create a team, so we're going to click create team here. Now you have different types of teams, okay, if you're, it's really important to select the right one, because each different type of team will give you different tabs at the top. So we're going to want to create a class team here, okay, the name, well I'm just going to call this test one, we'll call it whatever you think would suit best for you, but remember, whatever you call it, the students are going to see as well. So don't just call it first years, call it say first year English for example. So if you want to put a description you can there. You do have the option of creating a team for using an existing teams or template but to be honest that's nearly more complicated than the value it creates so we're not going to go into that today. So I want to click next and then we take a moment where it cre uh, creates the team. Now here's the key bit you add in the students, okay? You can either type the students' email addresses, whichever way you want. So if I start typing in different names, there you can see them starting to appear. Or, alternatively, if you have an email group already set up in your um, uh, Office Outlook 365, you could enter in the name of the group there, and then you can add them in. Likewise, if you're co-teaching or team teaching, you can add in the name of a teacher there and you can add them there. It's important to add them in that part though because that gives them teacher rights as opposed to student rights in the group. I'm going to skip this for the moment because this is literally just for a test class. And now, well, hey, we're in our new class. But let's say, for example, you want to add more students in the future. Very simply, over here, click the three buttons and there's an add member option there. And you've got that same screen again for adding the students and the teachers. Also as well, let's say for example if we're back in a classroom environment which could, and you've all the students have a device, instead of you having to go to the effort of manually entering all the email addresses or adding in a, uh, your previously created group, click Manage Team and you'll get this lovely page here. At the top is another way of adding members as well by the way. Up here, chain, go to Settings. Go down to team code, select generate, and then you'll be given a code for the class. Give the students that code, and if you remember at the start of the video when there was the option when we wanted to join or create team, we could enter a code to join the team. Well, that's where you enter your code. I hope you found that video useful. If you have any questions, please ask below in the comments. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, why not do so? Some wonderful, great content there. You never know what we're missing out on. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.